can't believe this is really happening. He got gas ties by a <laughs> street car. <laughs> Back here at Jags today. I want to show you guys what we've got in store this this season. So we're making some upgrades this year, and I've decided that my steering wheel just isn't cutting it out anymore. I got to step it up to the chain link steering wheel in the S10. I think it'll give me a better grip on the wheel. Very lightweight too. Overall, I think it its durability is probably unmatched. I can have up to three, six, nine, twelve buttons. So, never run out of options, you know, trans brake, bump, scramble, 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 <laughs> the rest are just scramble. <laughs> so I think we're going to be good this year. I'm excited to see where this takes us. <laughs> like four or five hundred dollars. Yep, thank you. So what are we doing today, Junior? We're doing stuff. We're doing bad financial decision stuff. But that's, that's definitely true. A couple weeks ago, I came across a 1971 Nova on Facebook Marketplace. Now this isn't just any old Nova. This particular car was the first turbocharged car I had ever watched get on the drag strip at 8 years old. At the time, it was one of the most wild things I had ever seen get on the track. It was all over the place. And I remember the person standing next to me was like, wow, that guy's nuts. At that time, the car was owned by Patrick Barnhill, a very well-known tuner in the drag racing world. Back in the mid to late 2000s, this car was very well-known. I believe it was the first blow-through carbureted car in the sevens. When I went to look at the car the first time, it had no front suspension at all. So, that meant I had to get brand new control arms, brand new spindles, brand new wheelwood brakes, just to get it a roller so that we could get it home. Oh, Lord have mercy. Damn, son, she kind of thick. So damn, son, she kind of thick. She's thick as fuck. It's got the Sunoco bubble hood. Um, it's good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Did Jeff order all that when he had it? Uh, Jeff was the one that picked it up, but I think, I don't know if Eric ordered it or Jeff ordered it, but Jeff was the one that picked it up. Might have got a kick out of seeing his red wheels again. Holy fuck. Are there pads in that? Yeah. You're shitting me. Yeah, he's just one tent. You drop them in. With the caliper on there, through the back side. That's crazy. I can't believe this is really happening. I bet it's running in three weeks. No. Three weeks. <laughs> Dude, okay. we have nothing. We have no engine, no transmission, no third member. Yeah, and parts are hard to get right now. And like All right, three months. It's going to be a while. Unless right. it parts out as S10. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm telling you, I'm seriously thinking about a big block. I'm telling you, I seriously hear you. But do you got the bread? Dude, a, a big M is the same price as a little M. It's iron. Aluminum is the same price as the small block and the big block and aluminum are the same fucking price. As far as the block goes. Okay, but what about heads? The heads are more expensive. The heads are about double, but 
everything else is more. It's making plenty of power on motor. And so where are we headed with this? I mean, are we, this isn't going to be a street race car, right? Unless it's on bigs? It'd be street on bigs. Are you talking about doing like no prep king shit or what are you talking about? No prep kings, but just like fast, small tire shit. The height of these tubes right here that come down beneath the frame mm -hmm. is the perfect place to hang the other side where you can get it. Yeah. Say that this thing is on the lift in my shop or our shop. Oh, God. I can't even imagine. Get ready for him to start putting decals on your drive shaft. That looks good to me. Yeah. Can you do that side? Yeah. Levon does a really good job enabling us to race this. I couldn't wait to get this car home and get it on the lift. Not the nicest car on the planet, but it'll be a damn good car for us. I don't think you'll ever have trouble getting uh, bell housing bolts again. So you could fit a huge tire in here. Holy shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Huh. Yeah, the factory frame rail ends right there. Just need to go over the over the rear end. This is a twenty five two six oh cert, uh, very safe car. Uh, you know, back in 04, 05, this car was going uh, mid sevens at 180 miles an hour. So it's been around a long time. It's got some history. It's got some a little bit of battle scars here and there, but a little bit of TLC, and I think we got ourselves a pretty nice car. So you want to do a big block? Yeah, I'd like I'd like to do a big block if I can afford it. Um, you know, an aluminum our big M block is about 50 pounds lighter than my little M that's in the S10 right now. So 
be a pretty light combination. I wouldn't have to crank the hell out of a small block to get it to run as much, you know. Something like 500 cubic inches on 20 pounds is making 2,000 horsepower easy, you know, whereas 20 pounds on a small block might only get you 1,200, so. Got a lot of thinking to do, and uh, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, what I'd color like to, should we paint it? I'd like to try a big block. I'd like to do gold with a black top, just like my RC car. But yeah, it's got the factory front frame rails, factory firewall. It's got the factory frame rails in the rear, also. It's pretty much any small tire rules you can, you can find around the country. So. And this car can fit any tire he wants. The S10, yeah. you couldn't really put a 29 on. I couldn't put a 29 on the S10 without moving the uh, frame rails and leaf springs. So, didn't really want to get into all that, honestly. I don't want the truck to be down in a fab shop for an extended period of time. And I really didn't want to get it too far away from the street. It seems like every year the truck gets less and less and less street, and that's not what I intended. You know, I, I really didn't want to make it a full-blown race car. I'd like to put carpet back in it, I'd like to put rolling windows back in it, and do some true street stuff with it, and some small tire street stuff, of course. Um, this would be the, the fast no prep car, and the fast street car, like say we go to the pad, or somewhere that we can really put some power down. This is probably the car that I would use. Um, hell, who knows, maybe we could get it down a shitty road. You know, just have to see. Everything's new to us. We've never worked with a four link before. Um, we've never worked with a, a chassis that's as light, as much adjustment. So it's gonna be interesting to see what we can do. And you're finally gonna put Haltech stuff on both trucks, right? Yeah, or I'd, both like to, cars. I'd like to do blow through on both uh, both the truck and the Nova. Um, I don't want to get into fuel injection just yet. We've had pretty good luck with the blow through this year. Um, we've been working with IRD carburetors, and they're going to hook us up with a new carburetor for the truck. And I'm guessing that they're probably going to hook us up with a Dominator for this car, um, blow through Dominator. So. I'm looking forward to that. Not 100% sold on the big block yet. If I can afford it, I'll do a big block. If not, we know the small block stuff pretty well. We got a lot of parts for the small block stuff laying around. We've kind of figured those out. So we could always do that too. Um, yeah, I'm excited to get started on it. Uh, I'm gonna continue to race the truck every weekend and build this on the side and this is ready and have hopefully have both of them out racing and then my truck's gonna be back soon so your truck's gonna be back soon so we got a lot of work to do i'm excited this car has actually been in this garage before this is not the first time that this this car has been in the garage uh, patrick brought, brought it out to my dad and they did some work on it way back in the day when i was you know just this high so it's pretty pretty neat had a little bit of a sentimental thing, you know. so hopefully we can make it fast. So the no prep RC drag racing thing has really blown up the last few weeks. We've been building RC cars like crazy. The latest one we've done is this Ford Falcon. Me and dad built this and a couple nights were to work. It's got working headlights, taillights, and turn signals. We're going to be giving this one away on the website. So here's how you enter. You buy one wristband on the website and you get one entry. It's very simple. Each wristband is $5. You can buy as many as you want. Three weeks from now, we're going to give this thing away live on Facebook. Everybody's names will be put into a bucket and I'm going to draw it live for everybody to see. We're also going to be giving away shirts, hats, hoodies, old pistons, broken parts, all kinds of stuff. So even if you don't win the car, there's still a chance for you to get something.